17 years ago, I had a bad accident. I wasn't a Christian. I fell through a roof 24 foot. The people who were there, when I fell, I broke two legs. I smashed, shattered my bones. Pudge Evans was there and his brother Billy, the men who found me on the ground. Weeks into my accident, I was in hospital called the orthopedic. I had two frames on my legs, bolted in both legs. The doctors came down to see me on the Monday or the Tuesday and said I was going to lose my right leg. But I wasn't a Christian at this time. And I was in a bad way. I was a man of the world. I didn't do drugs, never done drugs in my life, but I drank a lot of beer. I was a drinking man. But my wife was driving a lorry one day and I was back home in the chalet. I sat on the bed and like the world had stopped around me. And there was a man preaching on the television. There was a German man. I think it was Ryan I or something. And he said, there was somebody out there. If you've got a limb problem, whether it was a woman or a man, put your hands on the screen. And I crawled off the bed. I'll never forget it as long as I live. And I crawled off the bed and I put my two hands on the front of the screen with a tally. And he said, pray this prayer. And I prayed the prayer. But he didn't actually do a lot of good for me that time, it didn't. But I pulled on to a mission, it was in Windy Arbor, 17 years ago. And Pretty Boy Evans was preaching, and Sloppy Jim was telling me outside, I'll never forget it, Sloppy Jim was telling me about the Lord, it's look Jim, I said, look at the mess am I in? I said, why have I happened like this here? What have I done? I've never done no wrong, I don't do drugs, I don't rob people. I said, look at the mess I'm in, you're telling me God. I said, if there is a, a God that you're telling me about, if he can tell me, he's real, I will react to it. And I went down that night in the meeting. I was shut in the tent in Windy Arbor. And there must have been 300 people in the church. And I sat in that tent. And I looked around and there was no people. I couldn't see no people. And he put his hand around me back. Somebody did. Now I know it was the Lord. He said, there is a God. Get down there. And I went down to that front. And I gave my life to the Lord. And it was like... They lifted 10 ton off my body. I never forget as long as I live. Sam Evans walked in the trailer an hour after. And I never felt so good. I don't think you'd ever feel that good again. That's when you first give your life to the Lord. About 17 years ago, but I'm still here today. I'm not a preacher. I'll do every bit of work every man asks me to do. I'll go and clean the toilets. I'll help them with the tents. I'll go around testimony with them. And I'll do the best I can. But Lord knows... It was the best thing I ever done in my life. I've tried telling everybody. I've tried. I've got a couple of boys at home who are not Christians. I pray to God every day that they'll get saved. And I got a lot of family. I think there's only two of us: it's me and my uncle Jack. We've got a full family of Roberts. Is they're not saved. They claim they know God, but they don't know God. They claim they're good people. They they, they say they they don't rob. They don't do this. We we are saved. We're not like you're saying. There's, you're, there's a God saved, you must be born again. I said, you read it and you'll find out. You'll find out that if you give your life to the Lord, that you need to be born again. We need to be a new creation. We need to stand for God. You need to know that Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. Be out him, we will not enter heaven. If you don't know the Son, you, know, you won't see the Father. It's just like a man got his own son, if you get your son game picked on, you don't, think, you don't want to know. But as far as this goes, it's the best thing I've ever done in my life. And they told me I was going to lose my legs, the right leg. They said, your leg's going to go. 14 doctors wanted to leave it. And 16 doctors wanted to cut it off. And they said, we're going to leave it in your corner. He said, but your right leg's very bad. And he said... The doctor come down to me, Professor Richard, and he said, look, your right leg's in a bad way, your left leg's safe, but he said, your right leg's in a bad way. I said, well, if you take my leg off, you're going to have to cut my throat. But I said, I believe, I'm a born-again Christian now, and I believe that the Lord won't take my leg. So he wants me for someone else. I still believe today, though I'm not a pastor, and, I, and all that, but I do know the Lord's got somewhat more for me. I don't know what it is, but he's got something more for me, because I know he's fetched me so far. And I can walk with any man here now. And any man who knows me, I'm a Roberts. Everybody knows me by fly, but I'm half a Roberts. Everybody in the country knows me. What do you say when you get your legs back? If a man's been in a wheelchair, he knows, knows what I'm saying. 
it is one of the worst things you can ever have. When you're in a wheelchair and you're down on your knees and you, you can't go to the toilet and your family's looking at you. But today, I'm walking as good as any man here. And I've got bends on my legs to make it seem, you know, my legs are bent straight over. Mm. But thank almighty God. Power of Christ, I'll stand.